way too tough We listen hard, don't say much We take it in and watch the money rush Cause they the opposite of what we are Naysayers, they don't get too far Have a vision and we go with all Hello everybody, once again, welcome to CRMO Arts and Entertainment, of course you know who I am, CRMO, Ray, DCRMO, and welcome to another edition of World, Words of Wisdom, sorry again, oh, well, I hope you enjoy the other one, I mean you know, I'm my homie right there, Country Bama, yeah, 360 Entertainment, Guys, check them out, you know. I mean, we all out here on the streets, online, everywhere. Everybody's trying to make a name for themselves. Everybody's trying to get that identity out there. So believe me, you know, when you see CRMO, <laughs> you see me. That's right. I'm just like everybody else, trying to make it and break it. Shit. Understand there are a lot of things going on. Of course, you... I guess it's going to be one of them funny videos, I guess I might just say it now, you know, I mean, where, you know, I guess people are saying <clears throat> by someone of man's prophecy, you know, by a man's prophecy about the 21st of this year, that everything ends or <clears throat> something's going to end everything, you know what I'm saying, you know, of course me being a believer in a Christian, you know, I, I've always been trying to keep my eyes on the news and everything else to try to, you know, hope maybe to track them, you know, find them, look for them, you know, that the one <laughs> that everybody's looking for. And, and, and looking at these certain kind of, you know, ways of life right now, how life is, like happening in New Jersey, these big natural disasters. Just not too long ago on the news, it just stated that, uh, Japan just got a 7.3 something like that. Nigga, 7.3 or something. And forgive me, uh, I, I was online, so I'm always between this one or this one. This one here, of course, it's my work too. I know it's not the best quality in video or whatever case may be, or it seems like homemade cheap, of course. But, uh, you know, as me looking at it as a businessman, a man who saying, hey, let's use some of our technology. Hey, I mean, we bought this, you know, and if I could be able to use it, I'm going to use it. I mean, even though it's just just for what it's made for. I'm here just to do videos. I'm here to do art. I'm here to try to <clears throat> entertain you. I'm giving you the world that is me, but I'm also giving you a world that it can be you too. I mean, for you, if you like my art, you love my art, you love the style that I'm doing with pictures and, you know, well, a case animation. I mean, I'm getting to another realm, which I'm getting really deep into creating more of a different background area for myself. I mean, it, it's, I want to be like one of, uh, I've always been drawn since I was nine. Come on, camera. I don't know why this thing just gets his mindset, just want to just focus on whatever the hell is out there. And it's not I mean, it'll focus on me, you know. But it's now I'm getting, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a lot of my talents. This is not just something that you think, oh, okay, all right, man, bam, you know, you just gonna be here. I understand there's a lot of artists out there, I really do. I know there's a lot of artists like, uh, well, I call it divine art, but it's <clears throat> one guy just told me deviant art or whatever the name case may be with the internet company. Oh, it, it to me it's like a big art family major gallery to me, you know, because you know I have been on divine art to see what's going on with different artists, you know, with different artists <clears throat> that um you know making their way, doing their thing, and I'm just like I've been mesmerized about what what kind of quality is on there. I mean, I really am mesmerized. I love it. And that's where 
I'm happy to try to get in within that crowd. You know, I mean, I don't know. I'm just an artist in my own state of mind. I'm a city. <clears throat> I'm a country boy. Grew up in a little small city, but you know, hey, I learned how you know both levels of things. Trying to be professional at stuff and was well, I'm sorry to say professional at things or objects, projects, accomplish, um, accomplishments. Or whatever case may be but I thank you you if it help me out if you can but you know but I'm also working hard to provide certain kind of services to everybody I mean I'm I know there's a lot of people out there you know they got their own ways of things about what they like to see what they like to do like they want to express um I was understanding I've been in this like I said before I may be in the last three four how many videos I've done this is the fourth of course um, where the wisdom? Where is just? I, I mean, I, I'm just trying to show you how deep I am. I mean, I'm in the love of art. I mean, it's just that it makes me happy. It calms me down. I mean, a lot of times when I be this kind of person to be stressed out because you know I got issues right now that what I'm facing, what I'm going through, and it's not like really I'm gonna put it right out in the public. It's nothing really need to be that way, you know, because I'm not like kind of that person that put his business out there I'm not like that but uh you know but I am the kind of person that say yeah man I'm going through like what everybody else is going through you know nothing different with me you know I'm not like a big giant billionaire kind of person you know I'm just a guy just like any starving artist out there who just want to express his way services I could advertise I do advertising and whatever kind of advertising you want uh, certain video I mean I'm, well, I'm working on that part but Right now, I don't have a lot of the equipment to, do, to make the certain videos. And I know kind of the guy that I like to use for a director. You know, I mean, this is a small internet art company for right now. But, you know, I like to do a heck of a lot more for you. I like to do, uh, you know, I mean, <clears throat> well, I'm just saying. Hmm. <clears throat> I just want to be how how you, I want you to enjoy CRM awards. I really want you to enjoy being here, taking it easy with me. You know, kind of get the understanding, and maybe just you know, it's a place to chill. I mean, cause I'm serious. I'm just this is not like a few things going on. I mean, you seeing me, I'm popping off like you know, I'm not popping video, 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 video like constantly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just doing what I'm doing. I mean, every day I'm like. I, you know, I got my daily day struggles and issues. Sometimes I try to get my two hours on the guys just for a minute. You know, actually two hours expressing myself, you know, being out there in the spirit with them. You know, seeing what all this is about and try to, you know, basically focus on my day-to-day -day needs. Which, you know, I mean, I like to add a lot more atmosphere to this at uh, art that I'm doing here. But, you know, I, I'm working and jigging in a little bit of stuff that I'm doing it right now. Which is kind of saves a lot on my plate. It's a lot on my plate, but it's it's nothing in, I can say strong to handle. But it's just that this right here is my love and joy. This right here is what I've been kind of looking forward to and asked to be into for like so many years. I mean, I love to entertain you, and I've been I always want to be that entertainer to you. You know, I want to be, but the kind of entertainer I am. I mean, I, I you know I, I used to do music, play music, record music. I'm a recording. Guy, I'm the guy behind the mix board, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the guy with the ear, you know, the thoughts about maybe what might be want to be sound, you know, in your kind of in your way, style, but I want to give it artistically, you know, kind of give it to the point it expresses emotion. If you want to express emotion in it, um, I, I've been in that world, but see, right now, I want to just give you my world, my art and show you some of my uh, ways of expertise but like I said man you know everybody's different people might say what they want to say about it but you know to me you know I spent a lot of time and hours really working on some of these ideas and I know first beginning I've been trying to get a lot of the, the pictures out because I'm working with a new program I'm not like with my old program my old program I could do shit things to make it look like glass I mean cause it was a platinum edition but you know, I'm working with what I got, but I'm not a person tripping. I'm happy just that I'm able to be here, actually <clears throat> doing my art. Honestly, behind this computer, basically, 
this thing that just record this video right here which I'm pretty pre I mean to me this is like when I have my <laughs> 2002 Chevy Avalanche just like when you you look at something like okay they sell it to you you know I, I can talk them down to a price and then I got it you know but I'm thinking about it's an ordinary truck just like how I used to grow up in Kansas with my uh, you know we had trucks and they were just trucks you know what I'm saying you could maybe have a tape play in it you know you might have a little eight track play in it you might <laughs> it was but you just might just have a plain radio but it's a truck it was a truck made to work haul do everything in the world I mean I mean that's why I look at it that's how we grew up in it but when I got hold of Abby I didn't I just look at it just to get it because I got two baby girls no I got my son check it uh my son yeah Kobe Ross yeah I'm my baby boy right there I know you probably he's on Facebook and Yahoo just like his mom so you know I just want to give out to those who actually do see this video and those probably maybe see this on Facebook or whatever but even the you know being real uh, my son Kobe Vandross Ross ha <laughs> ha he probably didn't know that I would tell your middle name baby but you know yeah that's my baby boy and my baby mama uh-huh way back in the day cool as hell <laughs> cool as hell boy I got your pictures yeah I, I funny it's, it's funny about that it's funny about that I like that but yeah, I was checking out her profile when she was talking about a picture, but it was just, <laughs> it's funny where I ain't seen it in years, and, you know, to, to, to remember her character, it's just, it's just that she's really cool laid back, she was just, but, you know, I, I don't know what she means, man, she cool as hell, so ask my baby mama, you know, peace, love, and happiness to you, um, my son, Kobe Van Dross Ross, but then, I got my two baby girls, I always love you, and I always, daddy, I always love you. Amira, um, I, hey, Amira Mitchell, that's straight up. I don't give a damn with the other, <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude on this. I ain't going to try to knock all people's names and be rude and all. But my daughters, Amira Mitchell and Sierra Mitchell, they're my baby girls for always. There's your daddy. I don't care what anybody say. They want to try to say what they want to say. The truth is, <clears throat> you need to come to me straight to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't. You know, you know, your mom, your mom is your mom, okay? So, but the truth is from with me, with me, and I'm not going to try to dog nobody out, put nobody at fault. If it is fault, I'll admit that, baby. But other than that, there's a lot of answers to be, be answered. So, I just want you to know that, baby girl. Just, you know, check this out. If you're on this thing lively, if you know anything about this, baby, you've been on jumping on this on and on and hearing about it whatever come on with it baby girl just throw it out there come on talk to your pop have no fear huh come on with you you know at least let me know something <clears throat> you know what i'm saying if if, if if auntie gotta holler at you shit, at least auntie knows you know you know i mean ask your mom your mom know about it anyway throw that thing out to the conversation because i don't want to ain't nobody else but it's just being honest with real with those that i love the most my babies that i'm just all this time i'm here to, to entertain folks and a lot of times i'm sitting here and i have not said the things that i wanted to say basically just straight out of the real of my heart at the time i got right now you know what i'm saying so i mean I got an hour on this thing, but I don't know what to say about an hour. Probably ain't gonna take this shit about an hour anyway, though. I gotta get out, run around, and do some stuff. But I just want to make that out and clear to all and to everybody. But you know, but for a different topic of all, um, you know, uh, CRM Awards and Entertainment, been, man. Uh, I've been had so many names of businesses, <laughs> and ever since I was a kid, ever since I was a kid, man, my mind was all about business. My money was about this, this. I mean, nothing more, nothing less, nothing extra, nothing totally hundred percent wild with wax special. I mean, it was just this, this. What's wrong with this? Ain't nothing wrong with this. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. 
Uh, that's why I look at it in the way I just. I enjoy this. I mean, I enjoy the fact that I can sit here and chill out and, you know, talk with y'all. You know, clarify some things up. Damn, I gotta take a. You know, this is thing I gotta do. But I just gotta try to take some time in a nice spiritual mindset that I have right now to where I can feel relaxed and just talk about anything, I guess, you know. But in the same instance, um, going through all this old website stuff. And believe me, I'm on Moco Space, CRMO, Moco. Let me just say it straight out because, you know, I know my first video where I did my first advertising, which is the intro of the uh, CRMO Arts and Entertainment. That was my very first one. And I, I've been trying, wanting to make a better one, but I just realized, you know, hey, you know, you, you never can get past the original that first I love it I mean it shows you my experience that shows you my the way I am I want to show you my down to earthness and that's basically it you know I don't know if anybody else really give a damn about that right now um so I know there's a lot of problems out there I know there's a lot of issues um I'm happy and thank you and I'm glad that President Obama became our president but you know another thing about all that other garbage is the Republicans man you need to quit tripping for real, you know what I'm saying. I mean, sh I mean things have been already put in place for years. Think about that. I mean, this shit been like way back in the fucking day. You know, I mean, these people been always done that from way long time ago, and our comedy was named that bad. And also, you get this mother to go in for eight years, fuck everything up, gave him everything, and now once you get this our great president today together and put in the work in and work hard to try and get this thing changed and they don't want to let go with the last time I'm sorry the last person did and then it's like damn don't you realize way before then we had a smooth economy for a man who actually paid off a deficit which is what uh President Bill Clinton come on man that's just being for real. See, and I'm going to tell you something. This is the stuff that I talk about. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I ain't going to sit here and try to gossip about no damn who the hell fucking who. Or, you know, shit. Or, I was saying, or, you know, Usher, man. Yeah, Usher. Oh, yeah, Usher. And, uh, what, Kelly Rowland? I see them right here on Facebook. Oh, yeah, they look like a little couple. Man, fuck that shit. I'm not going to be sitting here yakking about it's okay. Or, uh, uh, you know, no... Just being off the wall about things. I'm not that about that. Uh, mm -mm. No. Anyway, <clears throat> my thing is about the source of the problem. The source of the problem is not. The source of the problem basically is no communication. There's no communication. There's no willing to work with this man. And this showed you something that, man, Jesus Christ, we've been on this earth for what? Mankind. What? 2003 there and them two and a half thousand years maybe more than that I forgot <clears throat> but as much as we have been involved in this world on the different skin pigmentations does it realize that man how stupid was something old long time ago can go when you find out where there's people like us who's out here who is you know, business oriented, <clears throat> but forgive me that I'm a different kind of business oriented man. Uh, you know, being an artist, you come with your own style. So, you know, I do the suit and tie thing. I mean, but when I'm really into going out to get that business, which I'm looking forward to doing that, but right now I'm just hoping to get your attention. That's my thing. But most of what takes my attention in this thing is this world situation with this wars and shit. I mean, it just, I mean, these people fought over there for years, man. And now you got, <clears throat> you know, Israel freaking about Iran. Iran is like, you can't really, you don't mess with him. I'm serious. Whoever this man, you need to get the, the Israel guy together with the Iranian man okay get these two guys together and say hey I don't give a damn what y'all differences look at each other 
Just look at you, man. One right here, one right here. I know y'all <clears throat> different religions, different ethics or whatever. Probably different ways of believing shit. But don't you really, don't you understand? Man, ain't nobody trying to come to the fucking door. But anyway, um, yeah, probably the neighbors upstairs. But anyway, why not just say accept and understand? Why not? I mean, what, what's wrong with just accepting and understanding the knowledge of all? I mean, okay, we can't always agree, but at least just sit there and say, hey, you know what? I love you. <laughs> In so many ways, just try and express I love you, but I respect you too. Okay, to realize, no, I, I, I will respect your wishes, needs, and understanding. But hatred should not be in no damn way form in this whole fucking conversation, period. And that's what I'm trying to get at. You know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, you know, I've been kind of keep my, my jaw to keep the smoothness together. But, you know, I know I'm kind of fucked up. I can get to being and shit and look like, but. Hey man, I'm just a disfigured person because you ain't really seen the scars on my arms, you know. I'm a disfigured man. I'm just disfigured and scarred up moms like me. You know, we got a whole different lifestyle. We don't we don't have the same lifestyle as most guys do, you know what I mean? Fighters, man, we fought for so many years, man. We fighters, man. I've been fighting for so damn long where it's like, you know, I'm not saying the top dog Lady badass, but I'm just sick of how to fight. Don't you know that? Damn. You know, I'm not just complaining to nobody out there, you know. Just spiritually wise, where I usually just sit back and I think, you know, I just love to be out in the open with things, but I just don't want to be out in the open just, just to be blurry about it. Just I want to make the point open and clear that hell, you know, I mean, we. Some got to be done with this crazy madness. You know, I, I tried my best. I didn't do anything politically. In whatever case may be. Like I said, like I'm, I have been in the White House. Heck no, not yet. But <laughs> I'd be nice if I could. But, I mean, I love to help out the knowledge about see what's going on for real. You know, if there's something I can do to help out with the economy myself. I mean, I'm trying my best to try to get... You know, if this would be the way of saying, I would love to get people to work. I got, if you just invest in me, you know, buy stuff or whatever, because there's more stuff that I'm trying to do. I also try to do DVDs and stuff, but one thing at a time, I got to work on little small things at a time, but I'm an artist and I want you to enjoy my art. I mean, even though I know it's in a way people might say, oh, it's like a man thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like a man thinks like it's all these little sexy women and all the blah, 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 blah. But let me tell you something. It's not just attracting guys. It's supposed to attract females. It's supposed to attract all those. But I know in young ages, don't really can get it. I mean, choices, to, you know, I mean, you really can't. But because it's vulgarity of it all. But, you know, ooh, it's your computer, it's your computer. I'm just letting you know. What kind of person I am, you know, I'm not just a person of sickness. I'm like, like I'm all sitting there just so fascinated with it. I just feel like, you know, there's times, days where if you wish to express yourself, you express yourself to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Even if there's good parts of you, there's bad parts of you. I mean, it's just the way how you are. I mean, it's not like saying I'm, you know, totally, like I'm saying, I'm just building badass. or I'm just some dope you know, a charismatic guy about, like, he's the best. I'm not, I don't know. No, I ain't thinking about nothing like that. <clears throat> I'm just ordinary man. That's all I'm all about. Ordinary. And I like to spend time like this. I don't know. This is my show. This is my shit. And that's why I like to how I, I love to be. I just want to be open. I mean, I don't know who listen to me. I don't know who talks to me. I don't know. I mean, my best thing is just that you know, I want to share some time with me and my knowledge. Like mainly, uh, mainly is a lot about politics. A lot of time is about, you know, the problems of the world. Why people do certain things. Now, he's got, I've just popped up in my head about, 
you know, the gay marriage thing, and now it's like, what, they fighting about that again? You know, oh, I think it's about two people. I don't know, the two first ones that got married or something, I, I ain't really checked it out. I know I used to see it on my other mainstream uh, media. Um, what was going on, but I ain't for sure what the heck is going on. But whatever it is, it's just not, it, it's just one of those things that goes on in America. You know, never know what goes into other countries unless you check out their uh, news feed or something. But a lot of stuff has been going on. I'm like, yeah, natural disasters. Earthquake just hitting again. I mean, it's been really kicking off when I'm like, come on. I'm from, you know, the Midwest down in Kansas. But, you know, Oklahoma is another flat land. You know what I'm saying? That's where my family comes from. But, Oklahoma. And I was just bad land. And all of a sudden they got an earthquake. It had a, a minor tremor. Earthquake down in Oklahoma. And I'm sitting there like Wow. And they fell all the way up there. And I'm like, damn man, that's wow. I, I never thought about that. But when that happened, that's, it just snapped to me. There's small places that doesn't even have an earthquake. Doesn't even have crap like that really truly really going on. It's happening. So I don't know. I mean, to my perspective, it's just that's what it kind of ticked me off for a minute about what's really going on. But whatever case may be, you know, I, I wish, you know, for all of us fans, you know, just really take the focus of the time to really think and, and pray upon it. My birthday ain't here yet. It'll be here. I hope to make it. <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, by that time I'll be 39. I hope make it. By that time I should be making my birthday video. But I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. But whatever case may be, I'm just. Well, I always want to entertain you. But I just. I'll do what I can. If you like to listen to more music, I'll put some more on there. I just need some feedback. I just need somebody to holler back at me. I need to see somebody. I understand that there's a lot of things going on, and I know other entertainment, you know, mindsets or whatever. I mean, I'm just talking. But then again, I'm not putting this up into a business just to make no money. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm being honest with you on that. But it's just that also, you know, but I like to get some kind of rep, some kind of love out there. I mean, it's hard to try to be seen in about a. It's like a flea and a billion pile of shit. I ain't gonna say everybody pile of shit. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, you know how it is. You're a little dot and big ass system. And it just, man, it's hard work. But I just let you know. <laughs> it's just being honest with it. But um, with the rest of the deal, I love to help out to see what's going on. I mean, what we do. About the economy, what about the people, what about the way of life, and how to even, you know, if it needs to be military wise, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll definitely take care of that part. But anyway, <sighs> yeah, you ever never ever thought today <laughs> you ever come to the time where you think about the Great Depression? And they turn around the Great Recession. You know, I mean, first when you're thinking about famine and stuff like that, you know, you think, man, was that a Great Recession that actually be the first knockoff on it? And that happened way back in the 30s. You know what I'm saying? So, we never, who probably my age, you know, or younger, definitely younger, um, who haven't, probably haven't experienced that recession, that depression. But those that did experience or cut through it, you know, I'm a God bless them on that. But, man, there's a lot of lives that have been blood on the streets in this world today. I mean, I'm just thinking about the matter of bodies. All the bodies that have just been like, man, you know, from the three million or so many Jews that have been fried, and acid, and starved to death and shit. I mean, then you got the Federal War, and, and, you know, you got death 
all over this place and it's just funny how man it's so stupid to realize it's time to put the guns down and show some love it's time to you know let's quit levelizing people about um what yeah I know I see the YouTube but this one let's see what this is about let's see what this is about this is off of Moco Space <laughs> Moco Space yes let's see what's the Well, see, I'm just getting a little attention. I'm trying to do some advertising. Oh, damn. I'm going to do some advertising. So, hey, you know, I'm doing what I do. I mean, I'm not trying to see if I can satisfy the world. But what I'm trying to do is maximize my talents that I can do what I can use for. Because I've been a drawer. I've always been an artistic drawer. I've been drawing. Sure, for the years I used to have books, man, and all of a sudden it just, you know, I got paper right now. You know, that's where how you see my, my cross, my uh, yeah, I, which I call it, my holy, put that camera back, um, which I call my Holy Ghost cross with the, you know, of course the CIMO my name in the middle, and you know, but then, <clears throat> damn, I forgot what I mentioned. Yeah, that's why. I, that's how I got that symbol set on everything. Was that yeah, I had a template that I actually had to take a snapshot to create that and I had to work that in and ways how I could try to make it look like, you know, as it is and I'm glad that, you know, it's been I I I've been that's that's my seal. That's my real true original heart. That's my real true original seal. So yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, yeah, yeah, that was funny. Um, so it just that, you know, I, that's what I'm always about. I'm expressing. You know, I like to express videos. I like to talk about that. The thing is that this is my arts and entertainment, and I'm gonna give you as much entertainment I can. I'm not, I mean, I'm trying to come out with some shows. I really, I had people, you see me. I mean, I done had Country Bama. Country Bama is from Alabama, the man. He's a true artist. I listened to it. You see, oh, if you ever looked at the the second word of wisdom, you know that, yeah, that night we was sitting and listening to it. I mean, I'm trying to, I, I should have put it on download to this system to where I could actually get you to hear it better from a different perspective like you know, um CRM 5 but you know at that time in that moment I just wanted to you know feel the need to express you know what I'm saying he was coming out with his you know see he's telling me we was talking and you know he came in out to express to me you know and, and it was cool that's why I figured like you know what let me take that moment from that time on to say hey let's express this man let me let me express this man at least let me give him some kind of lead in. I know me. I'm I'm gonna still be in this sort of business. I ain't I'm not getting out of it. Even regardless, I don't know what kind of fame, but I'm giving it what kind of character. That's the main thing I'm just doing. I'm giving a character. I don't know if people just sit there and watch this thing or not, but to my honesty, not a lot of my words of wisdom I'm not trying I, I had a theme and a thought and a way how I wanted it. But it's kinda like, well, you know, uh oh, hold on. It was it, but it, it, but it, you know, the best thing to do is you want to work whatever moment you got, you know, until you get to wherever position you get to. But if not, at least I want to feel uh, deeply comfortable to be spiritually active like I am now. I'm comfortable. I'm in my good state of mind because I feel like I built as much as I could, and now all I'm trying to do is get you to come to it. Just come to it. Come to it. Whatever it is, you got me. You know. I mean, damn. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, damn. I don't want to say what I just seen, bro. It's like, I'm not saying it's a hot, sexy thing, really. It ain't because, but it's just like, you know, if you're thinking about another man's mom perspective or what you just seen, it's just like, it's about lips. Okay. And it's funny to me, it's, <laughs> you know, I try to be as, you know, decent as possible, about, you know, but it's funny when you kind of sit there and you look at it, you be like, wow, damn. Like, you know, any man will say, hey, yeah, man, come on over here, man. Come on over here and shit. But. I'm, that's my inside comedy. That's all it is. My inside comedy. Um, but that's why my thing. I just want to entertain you. I mean, just give you my experience, man. I'm sitting here just, you know, kind of like you just kind of hanging out with me for a minute, you know, for a while on a video. I'm even keeping this stuff up. I know I like to come out with more topics to talk about, but a lot of times I'm really like to talk politics because, I mean, like I said, bullshit is bullshit, man. You know, nobody giving the President Obama his his time man but I'm hoping that he kicking ass this time get them to wake up and say hey you know what man I got four more damn years you know so from after this the president he who after this can take care of this shit or whatever but where I'm right now I got no time to be playing with y'all I'm not gonna give these people a promise and not fulfill my promise because you guys gotta stick up your ass so be honest with you I hope that that's, that's the battle, that's the fight, that's the way he wanted to make it happen. But when it gets to the war situation over there with those people, man, I'm just saying, President Obama, now listen to me. Whatever case may be, don't start getting to talking about anything about, hey man, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because one thing to set this man off, and when he feel like he's getting threatened, and if he do have anything nuclear, He's not going to tell you, but I'm not saying he won't, or he might say he will, but a lot of times he probably won't. But in a way, I'm looking at it, just don't push him, because this man thinking he's something. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm thinking he's some kind of guy, because the way he, you know, is present himself. He's a very charismatic person, and I don't want nobody to be getting him trying to push this man. Now, I don't know what's up with Israel, with Iran. But let me tell you something, you two guys need to tie it up what the heck is wrong with you two. You guys need to have a conversation. That's it. I don't know what's wrong with you guys in Israel between Iran. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out my damn self. You guys way from way away from each damn way from each other. And then yet it's like you guys tripping. Man, come on, man. Y'all y'all need to wake the fuck up for real, man, because you guys are you, with this bickering and with this fear about what's about to happen to you guys, it's, it's it's going to cause a lot of problems with us. It's enough issues in this world. Come on, you guys need to trade this shit out. You guys got to help out. You guys got to first take a step to each other and say, come on, man. Let's just meet each other halfway and grab each other's hands. Brother, let's sit here and talk in a decent manner. We don't need nobody sitting here in between us. We don't even need a whole damn room full of people. Only you and me. How are we going to explain this and how are we going to work this shit out? Here's your pad and pen. Here's my pad and pen. Okay? That's it. This is, all the, we, we, this is us make agreement for each other. We don't need United States. We don't need any other country out there to feel like they got to jump in because this is because of them too. We don't need that shit. We just need people. Are you ahead of this? I mean, why are you being elected to be a prime minister or anything like that? Damn. What? Well, there's some issues right there. But anyway, it's like. So why do you get? I mean, that's why I'm kills me. You get elected in these high, pretty much like a president position, and you act as worse as the fucking people that started the shit. You don't even want to sit there and think, man, to save my people or to save his people or to get this misunderstanding cleared up to where it's not you and me. It's got to be somebody who's starting this shit. You and me need to come together and we need to work this motherfucker. We need to find who's fucking with who and who's causing a lot of damn issues between you and me. We, you know what I'm saying? Let's work together. Let's clear this damn thing because the devil could work in any situation. He can make a, a, a person like him a, 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 
on top of a fish shoe just like him feel like <clears throat> you know yeah he is the one to cause the problem he is the one that is the start of the shit he is the problem with the solution you know what I'm saying I mean that's what's causing the conflict it's confusion and confusion and fear starts too damn much fucking problems y'all need to start please in any way shape or form let's just take this into God's will put peace between you two and just say you know what my man let's come together we don't need this we don't need United States to jump in we don't need no English uh, associated to that jump in we don't need nobody else we just need to sit here between us without no cabinet with no administration with none of these people just you and me if we can get that to go then we good what was that? We're gonna keep fucking with each other, man. Fucking with each other, fucking with each other, and we're gonna get fucked up. And that's what the shit gonna be like. And then you what happens, it gonna get some conflict going between all of us in the world, and then you get, you know, people jumping in, you know, then you gonna start feeling like what the hell? What are you trying to do? Threaten somebody now? Now we threaten people? Do <sighs> not that guy. That not that guy. I am just work my word. And if anybody see this video, I want you to say something. Mark my damn words. Don't fuck with him. Don't fuck with him. Cause this man is a funny ass man. Believe me, he don't look like the kind of guy he wants to be pushed around. He don't look like it. he would put one on your ass in a second. I'm telling you, I will not fuck with this guy. This guy I swear he think he's king of God or something. And I'm just. I would just say, you know what, man, let's handle this shit at the smallest level. Let's get down. I don't give a damn. We always get down in, in a circle and pray with each other on our flow. Just, this is us. This is our holy uh, ceremony. We praying on to our fathers. We no matter what religion. We, 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 we praying. We all also need just bringing a deuce together with all this in the Holy Spirit. And we put this all together. We, we we pray together together. And with that spirit for us that we pray together, oh God, there ain't no fear, no unbelief. We we keep that on under that. And for that we won't break that rule because we know we love and believe, and for that we won't do that. But if it had to be that extreme, well damn it, I I'll take it to that extreme. I'm like, let's get down. Sure. I mean uh, any means necessary to keep the peace, you know what I'm saying? But Oh, I don't know what's going on, man. I'm just that, I don't know. We're going to have a lot of problems coming around. And what gets me is that, I mean, I'm knowing, I watch a lot of History 2 channel. And I love this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying I'm fearful or worried about anything. Because regardless of how we go, we're going to go. <laughs> we are going to go. I mean, we're going one by one or shit or cluster we gonna get we gonna get fucked up so you might as well accept faith what it is what it is but it's just that in the same instance we can change a lot of what's going on if we put our minds together if we start figuring out ways how to protect us in our own world because it's still even though it's been peaceful but you gotta understand this place did bust out volcanoes sometimes how we know if not get ready is one of them times a volcano going to erupt. Uh, people already said, hey man, Yellowstone ain't been erupted in long ass time. And Yellowstone, and they call it a mega volcano, come on. Next to the one that already blew up and took out a lot of folks, they say the Atlantis, but man, in Pompeii. I'm telling you, man. Tell you man, I mean, <laughs> tell you man, it's awful, man. Yeah, it's totally awful. You know, just, just no, it's been lives have been devastated, died many years, and knowing that you gotta understand, you ain't nothing different. You know, we we, we could be on our way going to our trip, travels, and whatever, and something happens. You know, death around us every day, and we keep acting and doing the same dumb shit that we keep being so blind about. We need to focus on basically 
putting ourselves in a structure within God and our Heavenly Father. Let's look in His way because the problem that happened, it was happened way back then. God put us in a position in, Adam, in, in the Garden of Eve for us to flourish from there in the flourish upon the land. But, of course, Lucifer brought his ass down and see what that God is talking to Adam and he way over here. So his slick ass took his ass down and done low and, and knew what the hell, I mean, what not to do. And whatever this tree of life and whatever this damn fruit, whatever the fruit, fig leaf, or whatever the hell that thing, he just ate off of. If that poison is to wake up your mind to the other end, which is the other side, not a state of God, but it's uh, another side that God's trying to keep us from. But see, with this other gate wide open, see, people thought, oh, well, you know, they bashed him because they didn't listen. No. He knew it was up. He, he, he finally found out. You know? His ass was shit, getting ready to rob against you. Because he felt like, hey, you know what, whatever. You know, you show him, but he's showing you back. <laughs> you know, shit. I mean, just look at us now. I mean, I don't even know what we're focusing on anymore. It's just like, shit. I mean, I see a lot of beautiful women, and don't get me wrong, I do. But damn, I mean, some stuff that I see on the internet, man. You know, we could go back in the days of racism, man. And we could just say, man, so many black women degrade yourself. But then you could say some black brothers, I can see, bro. I know, you know, we, we, but it's not about race no more. We, we've been on this earth in this world together for just decades. From our oldest ancestors all through their struggles and issues and stuff they have to go through to where we at right now. And for our babies right now, who's going through our issues right now, and who knows if they can get a future going. They fight for like hell to try to see if they can get a future here. You know what I'm saying? And we try to leave that, at least keep a legacy for them. If not, shit, we all fucked. You know, and you got too many of us on this world anyway, so now you talking about just about to be a mass massacre on the damn grocery store, and then if not, shit, you got housing ground and territory to hold. Oh. Well, I mean, I mean, to say, damn, man, people actually spend a dollar just to a piece of something, a damn TV to eat, and you got guards over here? <laughs> Bro, and it ain't just because the enemy coming, it's just that because your neighbor next door probably got something for you. You know what I'm saying? It's weird, man. It's not really totally weird. It's something that you experience in life. But I didn't, you know, I just, I did know famine and this stuff is getting ready to happen. For many, we have about to have famine. But it's a lately, yeah, uh, agriculture is kind of growing, but the food price is going up. But I don't know about the, the, the agriculture thing, really. I mean, unless, the uh, you know, the <clears throat> atmosphere temperatures are starting to kind of really disrupt the way how plants and everything grow. But there's laboratories for that, and of course, they're doing it now. But I look at it, well, hmm. But if it's something that really going to knock off the chances for it to even grow, you better have yourself some laboratories. Yeah, I mean, because people we got ways to vibe this shit. I mean, this way to survive, if there's nothing you can grow outside the plant, at least bring it in soil. Hell, you could build a shed or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, as long as we can get, have, keep energy and artificial light on for a while, you know, I mean, we, we still can make it, you know, but it just, those who's willing to make it. And them the ones, we got to think, man, you better plant your seeds, you better grab everything you get. You know what I'm telling you, man, once most start losing their damn mind, it's, that shit it. I mean, you have to hit the liquor store if you want some alcohol. I know that a lot of them going to the liquor store. <laughs> shit, gun ho and all. If it ain't shit, well, I'm telling you, the liquor store going to be definitely gun ho. Shit, motherfuckers popping each other in the back, trying to get on a case of fucking 45. Oh, yeah, Code 45. Ain't that a bitch? 
I'm like, man, so, but that's just one of them funny, nah, so I forget if it, I say funny thoughts, but it's just one of those things, I, I guess, you know, it's just, you see it going on, and it's not yet, but it's Bobby menacing you, oh, well, of course, I mean, okay, take for, uh, yeah, Katrina is down in New Orleans, oh, man, that shit, that changed, when people do turn you like that, I mean, the guard they place after people will loot. You know, right after some disaster happened, you know, I mean, it's it's dangerous. And then to turn around, it's a lot of massive people. Just a lot of us in this world, man. It's a lot of us in this world. And I thought about going to Tokyo. Going out to Hong Kong. Hey, anybody, I don't care if, if, I know I do have Asian women in my art, and I know I love all women. I don't give a damn what race you are. For honestly, I don't. I mean, God made you a woman. As long as you a woman, I love you. But I mean, but I like to, some Asian women that do say hello, hi. You know, sometimes. You know, I mean, I don't know, but I just love her. I want to go to a place like that because mine is sense is totally different. You know, but. I'm just saying, just, hey, just holler, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm having one of them times where I'm just feeling like I got an hour. But Ghost Adventures get ready to start up here soon. So uh, I just want to give that time and an hour, especially. I, I'm really, a, I, I just, I feel good today, honestly. I feel good that I, this is the same actually day that I did, well, not actually. It was yesterday night when I did the uh, milk. No, one of Miss Chocolate, Miss Miss Chocolate picture that I did put up on the internet site first. Mine is of course CRMO Arts and Entertainment, of course. Um, but definitely, you know, I mean, I try to do something different. I try to show you my art, my skill, my ways, my wisdom, and all of that. You know, I'm also telling you, hey, come in, come to the store. Let me know some. Give me some info about. What you know, what you want me to do. I mean, there's, I, I mean, I, I'm not new to this. I'm not old to this. I work a new system out. No problem. I let you know. It's all about communication. Communication. Just give me some communication and we work this out. But other than that, I don't know what's going on. But I will do my thing as always. I'm always going to express my heart. I'm always going to express my way about this. I'm always going to do this. You know, I might be. In different forms of life, you see me doing changes because this is like reality TV. If you say it, just like I said, it's my own time online entertainment. I'm the man. I'm I'm Ray, D C R M O, of course, of C R M O Arts Entertainment, of course, www. dot C R M O Arts. dot com. You know, I can go through the whole list, no biggie, and you can search me through the search engine, C R M O Arts. That be C R M O R C C R M O would be actually capital, and then you arts. You probably look at it, and no matter what, just C R M O R. But just kind of get you guys to understand. I'm in business, man. I'm in here to do business. I don't know what kind of art you like. I mean, I could take anybody's regular photography, and if you want a special shot, special something, but it, it gotta be. And a good texture picture. I mean, it don't have to be number one top dog, but I mean, it it, it can't be your old old way out picture, way old. I mean, I mean, I, I try my best trying to work with that kind of technology to figure out how to, you know, bring back old pictures. But I really didn't really fall into that one yet. You know, I didn't even know that damn fan was on. That's bullshit. Anyway, uh, I'm just trying to give this one some time because, you know, you be ever. I usually try to give about an hour of each show. I mean, that's what it's about. I mean, just doing an hour. I mean, just enough time if you got an hour to spare. Come on, spare it with me, you know. At least spare an hour of your time. Nice. Stop back, come back, holler about this. Come, you know, if it blows up fast and well, then good enough. Bam. But. A lot of times, like I say, you know, I'm just really want to express, you know, what I have done tonight. I, I did pretty good <laughs> to express myself, but 
that's what's on my mind, basically. Just real life situations, you know what I mean? And all that, it's trying to make sense of stuff. It's trying to make honesty sense because true enough, it's not being said, it's being need to be done. And be done in a matter where there's no violence from here. There's no need for violence. No, we're going to do this in a special, peaceful way. I mean, there's no sense of guns or sending soldiers out to do anything. Nobody needs to do nothing. Nothing. Just, we're going to organize this out and what can it be? We're going to have to come with an understanding. And understanding is that it's point of acceptance. And to accept something, it's the point of, from acceptance to agreement. You know, it's it's just a point when you accept, you agree, you agree. Even though it's something that you don't, not to say it's something that you don't like, but when that understanding is involved, that it seems like it's it, it it's full focus. But you got to be honest. I think I never believed in ghosts until I came face to face with one. You wanted us. You got it. So I set out on a quest to capture what I once saw onto video. With no big camera crews following us around, I am joined only by my fellow investigator, Nick Croft, and our equipment tech, Karen Goodman. The three of us will travel to some of the most highly active paranormal locations where we will spend an entire night being locked down from dusk until dawn. You have reached your final destination. Well, there you go. Well, my favorite show is on. And I guess uh, burn enough time for you to just sit back and take it easy with me. But definitely keep coming back. So I'm going to keep loading up new videos in case much as much as I can. Uh, I still got more projects to accomplish. But honestly, I'm just a pure artist at heart. I'm a pure artist in spirit and pure artist that's just pure. You know, so give me some love, some show, and some uh, and I mean, some, some respect. And like I say, I'm in this, you know, to to to, to show you something, to, to kind of give you some idea. This something can get, can happen for you. Believe that. No matter what's in your mind, whatever you think of, or whatever you you know, you have it for your imagination. Let it come out in the open for real. You know, I mean, just that's what my work is about. Doing the been possible sometimes, but. I'm trying to make it possible. That's all it is about. It's the same way God expressed it. So, everybody, thank you for coming to CRMO Arts and Entertainment, of course. And I am a truly always your host and owner, whatever. I ain't going down that list. I am Ray, the CRMO. Peace and love to my baby mama, Shamise Ross. Peace and love to my son, Kobe. Vandross Ross, big boy. Peace and love to my baby girls, Amira, Jay Mitchell, and my other baby girl, Sierra E. Mitchell. So, much love to y'all. So, if you check this out, you know daddy loves you. He never even forgot about you. Never did. But, I want everybody to uh, take it easy. Catch you on the next one now.